Some of it is actually growing immersed. And I even have this little guy in here as well. I think it's been two weeks since I updated you guys on tanks. They've all been running pretty smoothly. I'm gonna scrape off the algae over here. I'm gonna scoop up some of the melm. And overall, just do a 30% water change on all these tanks. I'm gonna use my trusty scraper. I'll link this down in the description if you guys wanna use this as well. Gonna let the debris settle so that I can suction it as it consolidates on the floor. Also gonna do a quick rinse of the pre-filter sponges. One tip when I do these deep water changes is actually take away the pre-filter sponge so that it can actually start suctioning the bigger material. Hopefully that disturbs the water a bit. A lot of the debris can be pulled into two filters from which I can clean them. So I did pretty much all the maintenance. I also decided to put the Christmas moss in this breeder box just so that it doesn't launch any stragglers like some of the Christmas moss you see on the bottom. Just to remind you guys, the plan I have for this tank is to put two tank dividers and I will be putting three separate betas. Let's go ahead and partition the tank now. I got these from Life With Pets. These are specific to the 20 gallon longs. These are perforated to allow water flow between the divisions. It's really meant for betas if you wanna have betas in multiple tanks. Comes with these. Not too sure what they are, but we'll figure that out soon enough. That is quite unfortunate. I did get one that was damaged in shipment. Not the end of the world because I do plan on only using two out of the three. Just be cognizant of that if you are buying these, make sure you open it up early just so that you can return them if you need to. I actually had these on hand for months and I'm just now getting to them. So these slide and you use these to push against the top rim, makes sense. Apparently these are clamps. Also, for those of you who care, if you wanna pause, take a look, maybe this will help you determine whether you wanna purchase these or not. But now that's out of the way. The bottom is the one that has the bigger margin. The one with the smaller margin is the top. So it looks like it's 30 inches long, which means we would separate them about 10 inches apart. Yep, that works. Dip this in here. You wedge two clips so that it holds it in position. So I put in the dividers. It's looking pretty nice. If you look closely, you could see the difference in airflow from section to section. Here, obviously we have two filters. Flow is great. It slowly trickles into here. Then when you get to here, the movement is pretty much still. Each of these sections will be around six gallons and some change. So we'll keep the beta here, here, and here. With over six gallons, that should be an adequate amount of swimming space. You get the added benefit of having a 20 gallon tank in terms of water volume from a water parameter standpoint, alongside being able to, of course, put multiple betas in one tank. I have to put one filter 
on this side, keep one on this other side. So I moved that filter over there, kept this filter over here, and now we could put on the lid. Had this for a while. Let's hope it is not cracked because it is well past the return date. So what we got here is the H2 Pro glass canopy. It essentially is like the aqua tops that you can see from Aquion. The key difference though, instead of a black strip at the hinge, it is a clear strip, which for my side was always a flaw of the aqua tops. So hopefully this will be much better. Back of the box, if you care about what it says over there. Well, it actually comes with two handles, which is pretty sick. Don't mind me, this is eczema, all right? I'm Filipino. It's a genetic issue, all right? Don't blame me. Doesn't look like there's any cracks, which is great, because I can't return this. Very good packaging. Taped at the seam so you could easily pull it. Comes with the additional lining of sorts or whatever this thing is called for the back of the tank. The idea here is that you cut it to your filter setup. So say I have two hang on backs, I would cut a section out here, cut a section out here. I did hear in the reviews that this is pretty difficult to put on here. I probably will not use this yet because I'm in no rush. But for now, let's add the handle. It's a very snug fit. It's actually very well made. For comparison, you see this is a clear stripping. And down here, actually, I have the Aquion Aqua Top. And this has a black stripping. Even though it's a minimum amount, it prevents some light from hitting the tank. If you want to get one of these, I'll link it down in the description. And yeah, pretty affordable. What is going on guys? Clearly there's not as much water flow going through this center compartment, which makes sense. But I thought of the most five head solution. Let's see if I could do this with one hand without making a mess. Oh God, here we go. And that was out of focus the whole time. Awesome. We have the water going in a cyclic effect where it gets pulled out from this side and then gets dropped into this side. So hopefully that will create some form of circulation. <laughs> and it's just interesting to see all the detritus now just being stirred up, some of which is being transferred over here. So we'll give this a few minutes, see what happens. And if this does in fact work, the most logical next step would be to actually move this guy into this compartment and create a loop in this fashion. While we're waiting for that, however, I wanted to give you an update on the plant tank or the plant grow out tank. To no surprise, you could see this awesome Java fern that I got from a local fish store is definitely melting a good amount. It'll take a minute before this plant does get converted. The water sprite is finally thriving. I thought I was gonna lose this plant. Some of it is actually growing immersed. The Nubius that we got from Petco has not melted as I thought it would, which is always a good sign. It actually is growing a little leaf right there. But again, this guppy grass as always is taking over. All right guys, so it's been a few hours since I made the switch. All the detritus has been removed here, 50% of which has transferred into this compartment. I wouldn't say it's a perfect solution seeing as we just basically moved it over there. But I thought of another five head solution. What if we were to shift it a little? This also has a dual purpose in that it's now anchoring the divider. So let's see what happens. A lot of circulation occurring on this side. In addition to this side, another benefit of this setup by having it split in half this way, it's more suitable for a beta, effectively decreasing the flow by splitting it in half. I'll check in with you guys maybe in an hour or so or the next day. While I let gravity do the work and pull some of the water out, I wanted to give you guys an update on the little trick we did here with the hang on back filter. From the looks of it, the debris in the mom has been pretty much taken care of. Circulation here, circulation here as well. I can almost guarantee all of that mom is now stuck in that filter. For this third compartment, we have a similar issue. So what we're gonna do is actually take this filter and do the same thing, have this outtake spout over this divider. 
We move the intake for the second hang on back filter into the second third, goes up the hang on back, and then the outtake splits onto this divider. Water change complete on this tank. Pretty much do the same exact thing that I did across all the other tanks that are conveniently now in one location. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys once all the water changes are done. Before we get into that, I just wanted to quickly jump in here and thank the sponsors for today's video, Skillshare. When the team reached out about this sponsorship, I honestly thought it was a no brainer. I still view myself in the growing phase of this YouTube channel. We're about to hit that two year mark, but looking back in that not so distant past, I actually signed up for Skillshare when I decided to start uploading videos on my fish keeping journey. I learned things from editing, color correcting, workflows for content creators, and that's just a small portion of the thousands of online classes on this learning platform. Jordi Van de Poot, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, Jordi is my go-to guy when it comes to climbing into that deep rabbit hole of editing on Adobe Premiere Pro, my go-to editing platform. He has a ton of courses on there, but the one that helped me build a good baseline is called Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro for beginners. In the course, he goes into transitions, graphics, how to fix your audio, the list goes on and on. The best thing about it is each course is broken into lessons, so you could hop to what may be more relevant for you and save some time. For any of my creative people out there, I highly recommend you check out Skillshare. They even gave me a unique link just for you guys down in the description. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And at that point, you have complete access to their full repository of lessons, completely risk-free. Don't take my word for it. Sign up down below and see for yourself. Anyway, enough of that. Thanks again to our sponsors at Skillshare. Let's get back into setting up that tank over there. One other thing that I realized I did incorrectly was with regard to these black things that are on the edges of the dividers, I push them up so that they hug the trim here, but you're also supposed to push them towards the glass so that it lessens the gap between the glass and the actual divider. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so now these are much closer to the wall. Last step before we call it quits is we're gonna put substrate in the different sections. I do wanna create some depth with the substrate. So have it start off high in the back and then slowly decline as it comes to the front. In order to accomplish that, we're gonna use extra substrate that I have laying around to provide as a good base layer for that slope. So I only had enough sand for this third. I do have some sand from some other tanks that I could put here. They're just in a different location. But now you could get the idea of what I meant by depth. I have it slightly sloping downwards from the back to front. As you may have noticed, I didn't put any of the filter media in the center compartment. Reason being is overall, even though they are separate tanks, I do want it to kind of slope like this. So here will be a little bit more leveled and then in this section i'll do the mirror of what i did over here where the slope will start from that corner and then come downward So you guys can see that it's clearly cloudy. That is the result of having old tank substrate that I wasn't able to clean because our outdoor hose is basically non-functional right now. The filters will do their job, take out some of the debris here. I also went in with a net, as you could see, and I scooped up some of the larger debris, dead plant matter from the old tank, shells from some of the pest snails, 
this, that, and the fourth. So I'm gonna let this tank cycle through a little bit so that it clears up and then I'll check in with you guys. I may even remove the pre-filter sponges so that the filters can work a little bit more efficiently. I think I'll do a 50% water change on this tank as well to help with the cloudiness. I put stuff straight in all three of the sections. You can see here that there are actually some orange looking particles. It's a good difference between black diamond blasting sand, which is in these two from an old tank. And this is your standard black sand from Petco. I don't know if you guys can notice this on camera, but the black diamond blasting sand is a deeper black in my opinion, compared to the Petco alternative. Put the plants back in here. And I even have this little guy in here as well, just to test out the new space. This tank has been running for multiple weeks now so it is well cycled the media is also matured from older tanks so no worries on that well there you guys have it hopefully you enjoyed that video in the next video where i update this tank we are going to go ahead and aquascape all three of the sections most importantly we are going to be finally adding new beta fish be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that future video comment down below what other videos you guys want to see and i shall see you guys in the next one peace Someday soon I'm gonna make it